universo ocurre el año 2023 nos espera un espectáculo que pocas veces damos en la vida el eclipse de sol faltan pocos años señor señora so my interest in space it's a place you can occupy with your dreams sabía la abuela que ahorita yo voy a ir al espacio it's limitless solo no vamos en un grupo en una nave There's a parallel in the immigrant experience in a sense. Growing up in Miami and seeing people recreate identity from a distance, that's, I guess that's a starting point. A lot of my work is trying to imagine what will be normal and routine and take it for granted when cultures begin to fully occupy space. The audience has an expectation and then, oh, a twist. The figures in my work are townspeople, their family, they are people that are not usually represented in the imagination of stories of the future. It's a space for a type of magic to take place. I'm very interested about how you can create a strong political act with a, like a very soft poetical gesture. I think my practice was made out of need. As a Venezuelan artist, I was interested in how we can contribute and work together in public spaces to propose solutions or solve problems as a community, trying to engage with our social political crisis in a different way. And I think that's where the connection between the body and the people and fabric and different elements play their part. For me, it's interesting that I never see the work until it's happening. There is a common goal and you need to solve that together and figure that together to transform this landscape in collective gestures. This methodology for like collective learning is the core of the work. I'd like to think that with this project we are creating different type of geographies because starting from the body, we're creating our own spaces and environments as a poetical and a political act. the scale of history and a, a whole country and a single person, they're very connected. How do we place our individual bodies in relation to the larger body politics? The work is very much about looking, looking for something. I think of the whole process as a type of language that has components that are almost sometimes contradictory, the print, the skin, the paint. What does it take for something to become reveal itself. The process of making these works are always about hiding them or covering them and then by different material processes revealing them again. But that revelation also has a cost. Some of the stuff starts to disappear. And then once those uh, imperfections occur, the cracks and missing parts, then the paint comes in to renegotiate the gap. There's a kind of potential for regeneration or reinvention, a new opening in there.